Peter Pan. A long time ago, there was a fam family named Darling. One night, Mr. and Mrs. Darling went to a party, leaving their children, Wendy, John, and Michael, in the care of their dog, Nana. Later, while Wendy was telling her brothers a bedtime story, a strange boy dressed in green jumped into the room. A tiny glowing fairy flew in beside him. Nana didn't know the strangers, so she leapt up, leaped up to catch the boy, but caught his shadow instead. Ouch! the boy shrieked. The shadow ripped off the boy's shoes and was held fast by Nana's paw. Who are you? asked Wendy. I am Peter Pan, and this fairy is Tinkerbell, the boy exclaimed. Now give me back my shadow! Wendy sewed Peter's shadow back on his shoes. We are from a place called Neverland, Peter explained to the darling children. We live there with the lost boys who have run away from their parents. What are you doing here? Wendy asked. Tinkerbell and I often listen at your window, at the window, to your storytelling. Peter thanked Wendy for reuniting him, reuniting him with his shadow and gave her an acorn button, which she put on a chain and wore around her neck. Come with me to Neverland, Peter said. I will sprinkle you with fairy dust so you can fly. You can tell me and the lost boys stories every night. Wendy, Michael, and John were eager to go to Neverland with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. With the sprinkling of fairy dust, they flew off with Peter. As they neared the island, a great blast shook the Neverland sky. It's the pirates led by Hook, cried Peter. They are shooting at us. Who is Hook? cried John. He is the captain of the pirates, shouted Peter. He hates me because I cut off his hand and a crocodile snapped it up. Now the captain wears an iron hook where his hand used to be. Just then, the winds arose and split up the group. Peter and Tinkerbell were carried one way, John and Michael another, and Wendy another. Go after Wendy, Tinkerbell, Peter exclaimed. Tinkerbell found Wendy flying near the home of the lost boys. One of the boys shot an arrow, and Wendy fell to the ground. But the acorn button stopped the arrow from harming Wendy. Peter's gift had saved her life. Wendy took care of the lost boys. She told them stories and tucked them in at night. One day, Peter, Wendy, and the boys were playing on the rocks in the Mermaid's Lake Lagoon. They saw a tiger lily, an Indian princess, being kidnapped by pirates. Peter rushed to rescue her. Captain Hook tried to capture Peter, too, but when the crocodile suddenly appeared, Captain Hook ran away. Hook was too afraid of the crocodile to chase after Peter and Tiger Lily. That night, the Indians had a dance to celebrate Tiger Lily's rescue. Wendy went home early to watch over the boys. As the boys slept, Wendy baked a cake for Peter and left a note telling him to have a piece when he got home. Suddenly, Captain Hook and the pirates burst into the room, capturing Wendy and the boys. Captain Hook poured poison over the cake Wendy left for Peter. Then the pirates took their prisoners back to the ship.
Luckily, Tinkerbell saw what Hook had done. When Peter came home, Tinkerbell knocked the cake on the floor before Peter had a chance to eat it. She told Peter what had happened, and they set off for the pirate ship. Peter Pan crept aboard the ship and hid in the cabin below. Then he began to make strange sounds. He knew Cowardly Hook would send the prisoners to investigate. Once the boys were in the cabin, Peter gathered them together to fight, fight against the evil pirates. Peter fought with Hook. When Hook fell overboard, right into the jaws of the crocodile, everyone cheered. Wendy, John, and Michael decided it was time for them to return home. With a sprinkle of fairy dust, the ship sailed high in the sky with everyone aboard. When they neared the Darling House, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell flew with Wendy and her brothers to the nursery window. Goodbye, goodbye! Wendy, John, and Michael waved as Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and the Lost Boys flew off back to Neverland. The end.